I'm going to show you how to create uh, control charts, attribute control charts in Minitab. Um, to create attribute control charts in Minitab, um, you have to go to stat. Uh, this is the Minitab. I just open it. And then I copied a data set that uh, has uh, defect counts uh, from uh, 2,500 uh, pieces of inspection. Then um, you can go to stat and then control charts and then attribute charts. If you want to create a P chart, uh, click on that P chart and then select these uh, defects counts there. And in the next one, it is asking for enter a number or column containing the sizes. Now for uh, a fixed sample size, for example, this one, you can simply type 25 or for a variable sample size, what you can do is just simply select that uh, sample size instead of typing uh, 2500. So then just click OK, it will produce the uh, P chart. So that's the P chart, P bar, and then the upper control limit, lower control limit. And that's the process capability for P chart. It's the proportion chart. So this is basically indicating that um, out of 1.0042 number of defects, one on average in this process. So let's create an NP chart uh, because P chart is out of one. is sometimes difficult to understand. Uh, so if you create NP chart, which is basically the number of defects instead of the proportion of defects in a sample. So that makes a little bit more sense. Let's go ahead and create an NP chart. So go to control charts, attribute charts, NP chart. Same thing, variable, use uh, defects counts column, and then for the sample size, use uh, uh, the sample size column like that. And then you go to, um, you just hit OK. This should create NP chart for us. In an NP chart, what you're looking at is the one on average will get about 10.5 defectives or defects in a sample of 2500. So that's a little bit easier to understand than the other proportion charts. So this is one of the most common charts is used is NP chart uh, because it's easy to understand. Let's create a C chart. Uh, C chart, let's go to uh, control chart, attribute chart, uh, you can click on C chart. Same thing, select the defect counts. As you can see, there is no sample size in C chart. C just really does not care for sample size because typically C chart is used for um, a situation where you have a large um, system or process, for example, a large aeroplane or large car uh, or simply a ship and then you going to inspect the number of defects in one of those aeroplane. Uh, so how many defects are there in one aeroplane? That's why it doesn't really care for sample size because traditionally it is supposed to be uh, per unit inspection. Um, so you inspect one aeroplane, how many defects you find. So it is assuming that you have data just from one car or aeroplane or one ship or one large process, things like that. And if you just hit OK, it will produce the C chart for us. Very simple. So that C chart in Minitab. This is the one average number of defectives. As you can see, there is no difference between NP chart and C chart because both of them are indicating par uh, the number of defective or number of defects found in 2500 uh, inspected. Now let's go ahead and do U chart. U chart is similar to C chart, but U chart is basically per unit inspection. So in this case, we are inspect. We have inspected 2500 of those. So it will uh, give us per unit. So in this case, it will ask for the sample size. But for C chart, it did not ask for the sample size. So let's go create U chart, defect, and then now you can see either you have to enter a number or column containing the sample size. So instead of number, just type that 
column double click on that hit ok this should look exactly the same as uh, p chart or proportion chart uh, in mathematically they're same conceptually sometimes uh, conceptually they're same too um, it just the way you view things that sometimes changes from Poisson to binomial or binom binomial to Poisson. Anyway, so that's C chart, P chart, NP chart, and U chart in Minitab.